Good day and welcome to our short demonstration and explanation of how to share a file or a folder for that matter with someone that's in this case outside of your organization, but it'll work just as well for someone that's inside, but block them from making deletions. So when I say deletions, I'm talking about actually removing files. So we're going to set it up so they can add files, so they can modify files, they can list them, they can look at them, but they cannot delete them. And uh, if you would like to do something else, like you don't want to let them edit, you can do that as well. And you'll see that in the process here. But in this case, specifically, we're going to show you how to block the deletes. It's not very hard, but it is a number of steps and it's not intuitive. So just follow along and it'll just work for you. You might think, why would you want to do that? Well, in my case, we have a client who is hiring a temp. And the previous temp they had, when she finished off her term, deleted all of the files, not realizing that she wasn't just removing them from her machine, she was deleting them from OneDrive, which then synced with everybody else, and well, that was bad. So now they want to allow this new person to have access, but they don't want to allow them to delete. So how do you do that? Well, I'm going to create a folder on my desktop because I have OneDrive set up to sync my desktop. If you don't, that's okay. I'll put a link in the top right hand corner explaining how to set up OneDrive on the desktop. But if you don't want to do that for some reason, if you don't want to sync your desktop, your documents, and so on and so forth, that's okay. You can also do this all right through uh, OneDrive in the cloud. But I'll do it on the desktop because it's just easier uh, for you to look at. So I'm going to right click and I will select new folder. I'm going to call this test one. And I'm just going to drag a file into it just to prove the point that there's something there. Uh, but it really doesn't make much difference. Now, at this point, I'm going to right click and select OneDrive view online. Now, if you didn't want to have this synced up to your desktop, you could have just created this using OneDrive online. You could have gone straight into the cloud and just created it. And there it is. Right, so there's a file. Now, what we want to do is, and this is where it gets definitely not intuitive, but it's not rocket science again, is select return to classic OneDrive. And that will take us back to the version of OneDrive that exposes the fact that it's really just Microsoft SharePoint. So if you love SharePoint, great. If you don't love SharePoint, doesn't make any difference. That's what it's on. So now what we need to do is in the top right hand corner, click the cog and select site settings. And that's your first big clue that you're really in one uh, that you're really in SharePoint. Now click on site permissions and click permission levels. Now select add a permission level. I'm going to call mine edit but not delete. You can call it whatever you want. You can also put a description in it if you wish. You can put anything you want in here. It's just a text field. But I'm going to put my name and date because I want to keep track of the fact that this is not a default Microsoft permission. This is one that I created. But it doesn't make any difference. You can call it whatever you want or just leave it blank. Now what we want to do here is select just the things you want. So in my case, it's everything except these two, this delete option here and this delete option here. If you didn't want to have people add things, you could take off add, but I'm going to turn everything on here except the two deletes. There we go. So they can do everything but delete. That makes sense? Good. Now, scroll down to site permissions. The defaults are correct. View the pages and open. And personal permissions, Again, just leave them the way they are. Now select the Create button at the bottom right. So we now have this Edit but not Delete option. Go back to click OneDrive at the top. It'll take you back to your OneDrive. And now you want to find the folder or the file you want to share. In my case, it was on my desktop. And you can see here I've got Test 1 and there's just the one file in it currently. So I'll go to back to Desktop. And now I want to assign that permission that we just created to this folder. So how do we do that? Well, not hard. Click the three dots at the end and select Manage Access. And here we want to select Advanced. And now what we want to do is stop inheriting the permissions from the parent because we actually want to use different permissions. So click on that and it says you're about to 
get rid of those permissions. Yeah, that's exactly correct because now we can grant permissions. Yay. So click grant permissions. And here we want to invite whoever we want. In my case, it'll be this Calgary tech at yahoo.com guy, which by the way, is just me. You can see it's just a test account that I have. I don't monitor it by the way. So please don't send email to it. And the description could be anything. So I'll just type in you look marvelous. Whether you old SNL fans, you'll know what that is with Billy Crystal. And here's the cool part. Click show options. And now you'll see select a permission level. And we want to select edit, but not delete. And click share. Boom. If I right click and I refresh this page, I should see that person. There it is. Right, so there's the Ian Matthews guy, right? The did that Calgary Tech account. So let's go off to my Calgary Tech mail and see what I see and figure out what I can do. All right, and there's my message. You look marvelous. You know I do, and I can select open. And there's that file. Now take a look, when I click the ellipse at the end here, I can open, I can do all kinds of stuff, but I cannot delete. I can create new files and new folders. Uh, test two, create, no problem. I can create new Word documents. I'll just put some gibberish in here and I'll just, just to make this clear, I'll just put 111 across it. And I will close this. If I refresh this page, it'll be there. There it is. And if I go back and look at it as the person that created it, as Ian Matthews, well, actually you see here there's permissions that are not showing. Let's just right click and refresh this because they are there. There it is. So Ian Matthews is set to edit but not delete. That is correct. Okay, so now let's go take a look at my desktop. Those files should have synced by now, and they did. And I can go in there and I can delete things. I can, because I'm the owner of this, I can delete this file. So there, it's gone. And there's my little test document. So if you want to add people in the future, say you wanted to add another new hire in the future, you'd go back to your OneDrive you'd find the folder in question and you'd click the three dots at the end. You'd select manage access and go to advanced. That's the key. And then you could grant permission and you could add whoever you wanted. And I can click show options again and I can set that person to full control or no, I want them to be, uh, you know, edit but not delete again or view or read or whatever other permission I want. Okay, I'll click cancel on that. So we'd really appreciate it if you would click like, if you found this video useful, subscribe's always appreciated, and please leave a comment. If you have any questions or concerns, someone will get back to you. And you can always get a hold of us directly at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.